Hey guys, welcome to a Cat K Gaming Diablo 4 video! Yes, I'm finally making content for Season 4. I would say that I've strategically been waiting for the anniversary celebrations, however you all know I've been completely addicted to Path of Exile. So let's get underway by doing the anniversary celebrations. So we've got some free gifts, we've got much of the goblins, and there's also Mother's Blessing, which is great because my character is not level 100 yet. <laughs> so let's let's claim our gifts first, shall we? Let's see what Diablo has for us. Anniversary gift. So we've got That's a bold choice. A funky looking dead horse. Um nice. Thank you. Complete purchase, free. So just double check. Before you before you claim them, that uh, they are listed as free. Continue shopping. I think we've got. Um, all right, so we've got them. We, okay, then. Oh, okay, so you have to claim a new one each day. What a good incentive to get everyone to continue to log in. All right, so here's my seasonal character. Got a really cool looking crown from Lord Zir, so let's log in and uh, see how the gaming goes, I guess. Um, going through the Helltides. I don't know how many of you, you have seen the leveling up through the Helltides, but it is amazing. Um, I'm sitting on World Tier 4 at the moment. Here we are, very nicely just uh, chilling in Kyovishad. So let's start. Let's start. <laughs> come on. Really? Come on, inventory. All right. It seems like there is, there's must be quite a lot of people going around because we are stuck in a massive lag spike. Brilliant. I love that for us. Okay. Nope, still can't pull up my inventory, can't pull up my map. Alright. Not quite the beginning that we wanted. Can't even mount my horse. Alright. Maybe let's leave the game and try logging back in. What a great start to my first Diablo 4 video of the season. Um, so far, I've been having a lot of fun with uh, with the, the new season. The, the Loot Reborn system um, seems to be really fun, so going through with the Iron Wolves and getting different levels of renown with them, which you can do by um, completing Helltides and things like that. There we go. Alright, so... There's like all different kinds of elixirs you can get. Um, increases your experience gain up to 8%, which is fantastic. So I'll just pop an iron barb, barb elixir. We don't really need anything spectacular. Ah, oh, excellent. So it's basically directly outside. Let's mount up. New change that you can mount and spur your horse in the cities, which is awesome. And let's head out into the Helltide and start filling up the Helltide meter. Oh, looks like some, some chaos over here. Uh, you might notice that my build is similar to last season, but definitely a little bit different. So, so you see the wolf zone that pops up? That's how basically how you gain your um, XP now. Alright, let's start, shall we? So it's basically just... Indeed she does. Alright, so it's just stopping the ritual. So you guys know know this by now, but you see all the wolves on are popping up. You get them way more frequently um, if you're doing like... If you're doing something like this, an event, you know? <laughs> So yeah, um, build is slightly different from last season, so I'm not utilizing Meteor this season as yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to change that. I do have this Starfall Coronet, so 
yeah, I'm basically just eternally undecided. Um, so you'll notice that the forces of hell are starting to grow angry, which is good. <laughs> but um, I swapped out my ice armor for instead getting frost nova. So I, I really liked that um, when I was doing my hardcore playthrough. So I'm definitely keen to do that some more. For my master. Come on. Oh, we failed. <laughs> oh well. Who cares? At least we're finishing the event. Alright. So your herbs are no longer like singular herbs anymore. They come as bundled herbs, which is really fantastic. So there's there's no racing around the map chasing, you know, like five extra, you know, five extra whatever to, to make your potions. It's all just, it's all just bundled herbs. Excellent. Screaming Hellbane. We like that because that gives us extra um, cinders. And the more cinders we can get, the better. So they also drop different elixirs, forgotten souls drop from them, it's quite good. So we're just waiting for whatever Helltide Commander is threatening to fall on our heads. Nope, so it looks like that was just a tease. Thanks Helltide. I love, the, I love it when they tease you that a Helltide Commander is going to drop and then it doesn't. But there seem to be plenty of events, so, and the more enemies that you kill, the more your meter fills up. I did! Aren't I fantastic? Alright, let's, oh, I was just going to say, let's have a quick look on the map. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick look on the map. There we go. So this is where the Blood Maiden is, so let's, oh! The sandworm. <laughs> Yeah, those guys pop up every now and then and spew out a few enemies for you to, to take over. Um, but let's see, let's see if we if we can't. Oh, a, gross, a grotesque data. That's all right. We've got plenty of parts for Vizier, so we don't super need it. But you know, I'll, I'll I'll take what I can get. Extra honor for him, so that's pretty good. But yeah. Um, I'd love to show you guys the Blood Maiden. And... Ew, let's kill some spiders first. Okay, so we've reached the next level. The forces of hell have grown infuriated with us. Hey, and we've got a Paragon Point. Nice. Very nice. So I've just started a new board. So I'll, I'll pop that in in a minute um, once we get down here. So basically, this is... Very, very similar to the uh, season two mechanics with the with the vampires. Um, basically, you can stand around, start a ritual. Whoever, whoever's there can start it. Let's. There we go. So someone already put one heart down. I have a couple. So. That just means that we can all hang out and kill us some demons. So even he even here at level 78, on World Tier 4, things are not terribly difficult. Um, I've noticed that quite a few builds aren't having too, too much trouble from what I've seen. Could just be the players that I'm playing with are, are reasonably skilled. But um, yeah, it seems like once you hit about, about level... 65-ish. Um, World Tier 4 is slightly scary, but definitely uh, definitely reasonable to start leveling up in. So we did did this character. Uh, my friends very kindly decided to power level me. Um, I will have a video up of just the ding compilation. So ding, 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 ding with all the all leveling up. There we go. Blood Maiden. So Blood Maiden has multiple stages and we will see them shortly. So she basically stops and then she'll summon, you know, like two, three, four, five um, little generals. So let's just um, help this guy revive him. But yeah, so you can see she's, she's summoned three generals in this, in this round, I think. Um, but yeah, we just have to 
we'll try and take them down as best we can. I'm still, I still don't know if I'm super duper fussed on Inferno. Oh no, um, that one, Inferno. Um, a lot of people have got the um, the buff, or, uh, not the buff, um, the affix for incinerate where it, it divulges into three beams of fire. Um, I've tried it. I don't particularly care for it. I don't think it's super important. Um, as in, it's not like a massive game changer for me. But, you know, it might be something that you enjoy if you're wanting to, to do that. So, our, our, our murder bar is, is definitely getting up there. Um, let's see how many cinders we've got. So, 223. So, we're just going to go and open a couple of... Ch open a chest or two. Um, basically, just to... So, that baneful, baneful heart that we just... I think it's baneful. <laughs> uh, the baneful heart we just picked up. Um, that's what you use to to summon the blood maiden. So you need three of those. Um, I'm not sure if chests are the only way to get them, but that's the only place that I've seen them drop. But I haven't been paying all that much attention, to be very honest with you. All right, so we can open this one as well. We're basically just opening these for the sake of doing the seasonal quests. So I think I've played three times. So you, you also get extra wolves on her as well. So that's that's a bonus. And orbals are a huge currency this season. So you get a chance to like roll on some really good gear. Um, but yeah, I'm in almost all, almost full 925s at the moment. Which I'm, I'm happy with. All right, there we go. Aha! season tier thirty-one complete. So, as you can see, I did, I did get the battle pass. Um, not the, you know, not the super advanced battle pass. I, I still don't think that that's a necessity because the only um, bonuses that you get are to skip some levels in doing your seasonal journey, um, the seasonal rewards. So yeah, it's, un I mean, unless you're super time poor, it's, it's probably not worth it for most people. These are, these are always good to, good to kill anyway, because of the, the extra wolf sonar. You want you want as much wolf sonar as you can get. Once we once we kill her for this for the second time, um, we might go down to the Iron Wolves encampment, and I can show you guys um, some of the wolves sonar. Maybe I'll level up for my wolves sonar, and then it'll actually be worth going down there. So I think I'm at level seven or eight. Hey, there we go. See, we've got got more wolves sonar. So let's. Uh, Grab our other little bits and pieces. Um, we might try and grab one more chest, actually. So yeah, people are just eternally starting starting the ritual. Um, what did I miss out on? Nothing. Anything? All right. Let's let's mount up and find ourselves another chest. Uh, let's go and grab that one because we don't want to we don't want to lose our cinders. That would be, that would be sad. Oh, the horses will go fr go frenzied. So here we go. This this is what happens when you <laughs> when you get like maximum level of hell being angry at you. There's also a seasonal achievement to kill a number of enemies um, once you're once you're at that max level. So it once you once you hit max level, um, it basically says forces of hell really, really peeved at you. Not, not at all impressed that you're here. Um, and then the timer will start ticking down. So you need to kill as many enemies during that time as you can, so that you can do that part of the seasonal journey. Oh, and we leveled up. Very nice. Very nice. 
Alright, so it looks like we've got a, a champion. A champion of hell. Let's maybe get out of all the, the fire and death and whatnot. Alright, Helltide Harbinger. I think that's the one that's that's giving us all the drama. Oh my god, it could be all the poison that I'm standing in. You know what I'm you know what I'm like with the poison. I'm not having a good time with the lag on the home PC either. <laughs> Alright, let's maybe see if we can twisty twist that dude up and keep dodging. Keep dodging, house, keep dodging. Get out of the poison. Except if I dodge, if I dodge too far away, then you guys will you guys will miss all the action. Hey, that has that has great graphics on it, which is super fantastic. Um, I don't think anyone's going to come over and help us, so we might have to just uh, run away like a small scared child. Maybe we'll do some of these guys. Still haven't seen a treasure goblin yet, but obviously we've only been with the in for 15 minutes. So, well, not even that really. Um, so yeah, I guess that, that'll come up with some time. Alright, now let me see if there's another... Oh, it's really just that one. Okay. Let's see if we can't head back there. Maybe if that, um, that enemy's buggered off. Um, so we don't have enough living seal. So see where we've got Gallivine? It comes out as bundle type, so there's no no chasing. Oh no, they are still here. Can't you go away so that I can just open up open up the Cinder's chest, please? <laughs> that is a little bit too, a little bit much to ask. Come on, come on. Yes, alright. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I don't think I asked much. All right, now let's let's bounce, and I will head down to show you guys the Idlebs encampment. Now that I've completely will start that. All right, Idlebs encampment over here, so we can level up our wolves' honor, and it'll be cool because you guys will get to see some of the rewards. Haha, <laughs> missed me. Not quite quick enough for Cass. It's a pretty cool loading screen. I wonder if next season will be like Season of the Spider. Oh god, I hope not. I've already, I've been up to up to my neck in spiders and games lately. Okay, show me how I fared against Hell. So, we've collected the first first tier rewards. So we've got a weapon cache, we've got gloves, um, boots. There's like pieces, organs to get the blood maiden, so that's those those hearts I was talking about. Um, so there's, there are also tempering manual recipes that you can get. So there's level 6, level 7 was some herbs, which is pretty cool. Um, and then there we go, that's level, what, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, alright we're up to level 10. So we've got the natural motion tempering recipe. Now, let me show you in my inventory, assuming I can open it. There we go. Got some, got some goodies there, and then the tempering recipe. So when you get these in your inventory, all you need to do, right click, and now you know it. So I'll show you what this item is with the greater affix on it. So you see there where it says plus 135 intelligence, that basically just means that the intelligence level is higher than this item would normally have. So let's have a, a quick look <laughs> and see. Um, I don't think anything is actually worth swapping over. I'll probably just uh, salvage all of it because like so not all of my items do have greater affixes on it but I've got basically the best items that I can have um, without them all having greater affixes. So some of them have been tempered, some of them have been masterworked, uh, but you do need a lot of stuff. Um, also, a very, very important point to, point to make. If you want to save something in your inventory, you need to save it. Otherwise, when you go to salvage all items, every item will be salvaged. So do not salvage your shaker. 
Right? I don't think I can stress that enough. So we don't need to repair anything because we didn't do anything. But if you guys want to see a little bit of a uh, little bit of action, let's maybe pop a pop an affix onto here. So let's see. What would we like? What would we like to put in here? Maximum life or armor. Yeah, that's a, that seems like a, a decently tempered item. So we're gonna see what we get from that. Dodge chance. Dodgy. Let's try it again, shall we? So you can re-roll your tempering items. Just please be really careful because you can brick them. And when I say brick them, it means that you can't put any more tempering onto it. All right. I'm going to put this one. So I really want extra frost nova size. And we'll see if we get that. Immobilized duration, you know what, I'm I'm okay with that. And now if we want to, we can masterwork it. Um, as you can see, I've not been in the pit too many times, so I don't have the crafting material for that. Um, I have done a bit of an upgrade to my pants there, and also to meet my Isu Zellin boots. Um, I'm not sure if I'm sticking with those yet. This season, you definitely don't actually need to be having all, um, you know, uniques or uber uniques. Um, uber uniques are still fantastic, obviously. Everybody wants Shaco, but, you know, the uniques and uber uniques aren't as important this season. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, having a look at the Helltide, um, seeing that the leveling is definitely a bit faster. You can see that seeing the different potions that you can get, checking out the Wolf Zona, and also checking out the very first reward for the season. So remember, you have to log in every single day to get your reward, so don't forget. Alright, so that's enough from me, and I guess I will see you guys in your next adventures in Sanctuary. Bye for now.